This video is intended for the do-it-yourself homeowner that wishes to build his or her own laminate countertop. Most of the products and tools used in this video are available on our website, www.beveledge.com. Today we'll be building a laminate countertop with a bevel edge profile and flush undermount sink by Coran. The laminate we're using is the Golden Mascarello pattern from Formica's new 180FX product line. The Lance and Edge sinks by Coran that we're using are the only stainless steel sinks specifically designed for undermounting in laminate. Lance and sinks are also the only stainless steel sinks that do not show a transition ring when installed under laminate. The first step to building a laminate countertop is to build the deck. So standard depth for a countertop is one inch deeper than the cabinets. While we're cutting with a table saw, a circular saw and straight edge works just as well. Working on the bottom of the deck, screw rips of plywood around the perimeter. The first step to installing the sink is to mark the top of the deck. Use a jigsaw to cut the marked hole. Keep the cutout for use later. Screw two temporary braces on the top of the countertop to support the sink. Flip the top over and install the sink with permanent braces. Flip the top upright and fill the void between the sink and deck with auto body filler. Sand flush. Lay the laminate over the countertop deck, clamp, and router off the excess mica using an over route bit. is oversized so that it allow the, uh, you can oversize cut the sheet laminate. Through the drain hole, mark the inside of the sink with a pencil. Remove the laminate from the countertop and set aside. Apply blue painter's tape to the perimeter of the sink to leave a clean area for the sink installation epoxy later. Roll out contact cement on both the laminate and the countertop deck. Use the plywood sink cutout from earlier to keep contact cement out of the sink area. Also roll out contact cement on the countertop deck. Allow time for the contact cement to dry. Remove the tape from around the sink. Wipe clean and apply a band of painter's tape to the inside rim of the sink. This will help protect the sink from excessive epoxy squeeze out later and contact with the router bit bearing. Mix and apply a small bead of epoxy around the sink. Now we're ready to install the laminate on the countertop. Place dowels or something similar on the deck spaced every few inches. This will allow you to place and align the laminate before sticking down. Align the laminate to the deck and remove the dowels, starting at the center and working outward.
Roll the lamina down for a permanent bond. Drill hole in the center of the sink area. Use a router with a flush trim bit to trim the laminate from the sink hole. Using a router with a flush trim bit, trim off all the excess laminate around the countertop. Using a bevel bit, trim laminate flush to the sink. After the epoxy has cured, file and sand the laminate to the sink for a smooth transition. Using a block of wood and sandpaper, sand the edges of the laminate flush to the deck. Wipe off all excess dust, top and bottom, so that tape will stick well. Now we're ready to install the bevel edge trim. Rough cut the bevel edge trim to size to make for easier handling. Cut and dry fit the bevel edge trim to size. Coat the back of the bevel edge trim entirely with exterior grade wood glue. The wood glue will create a moisture resistant bond to the seam. Starting at an inside corner, install the trim. Spring clamps can be used to support one end when getting started. Tape every few inches, aligning the edge as you go. Again, spring clamps can be used to help adjust the height up and down. Touch up inside corners with matching caulk if necessary. After the glue dries, remove the tape and clamps. Ends, as next to a stove, can be capped with scrap laminate. Many of the products and tools used in this video are available on our website, and you can also call us anytime at 866-322-3835.